Are you a Dynamics 365 user looking to streamline your communications? Then this video is for you. Are you tired of wasting valuable time copying and pasting the same email contents into your Outlook every time you need to send a message? In this video, I will teach you how to create and use email templates in Dynamics 365, saving you time and effort while improving the consistency and the quality of your email communications. Get ready to take your productivity to the next level with the Dynamics 365 email templates. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate up to the little gear at the top of the uh, menu bar. Come into advanced settings. Navigate up to the top. And we're going to come to templates. We're going to create, so we have a couple different options here. We can create a template globally that can be used across multiple entities. In this case, I want to create one specifically for the leads area. So we're going to choose the entity, which is leads or lead. We're going to make this an individual, but we could choose it for the organization. In this case, I'm going to have my own. We could put a description in, and we can start putting a subject in for the follow-up email. This is the body of the email down here. So we're going to start off by adding a subject. So I'm going to uh, just type in a subject here. So thanks for stopping by our booth at and we can insert some dynamic text. What I tell most of my customers to do is in the subject for the lead, so or the topic, sorry, uh, we're going to add the topic field and put the name of the trade show in the topic field. Next, we're gonna navigate down to the body and we're gonna insert the body. So let's start off by an introduction. So we're gonna say, Dear, and then we're going to we're going to insert a dynamic text. So we're going to say from the lead, we want to insert the first name. Okay, we've got the first name. Insert it. Space, and we're going to insert the last name. Put a comma, and now maybe two. Uh, one sp uh, one sp actually a half space so shift enter and we're going to grab the body of the text from a word document that I typed out earlier okay now we have all different fonts and stuff so we want to make sure that we get our fonts correct so we're going to choose a different font and we're going to make that an 11 Okay, we want to make sure that our paragraphs are correct. And we could correct our grammar a little bit here. Now we have a the body of our email. All we need to do at this point is save and close it. And we can go test it. We're going to move up to the top of the page and insert a template. So we're going to grab a template and we're going to go with trade show follow-up. Apply the template and scroll down to the body. It puts the subject in. It'll put in the topic from the lead and it'll put in all of the body for us. Next we're going to insert our signature. Now if in this video, I'm not going to cover how to make a signature. What you can do is uh, there'll be another video in my in the tips and tricks area that you can go to for how to create a signature for your email. But we're going to come in and we're going to insert a signature that I've already created. So I'm going to use that guy's signature. And now we have a signature, we have an email, and we just can go ahead and hit send.
So that will end up in my timeline that I've sent them an email. If you found any value from this video, please give me a like and subscribe. And uh, feel free to drop into the channel and take a look at some of the other tips and tricks videos, uh, including how to make a signature, which will be there as well.